Hey guys, I'm Cody at Irvine Past Life Pro, and as the title reads, yes, I've got a new series, Cutest Shader Tutorials. This has been highly requested for months, so I finally brought myself to do it. I'm going to teach you how to slow down waving terrain in the latest public Cutest Shader, this one being the V6.0.73 Beta Ultra, and a little reminder for me to you, these modifications are purely for your personal use, so that means no redistributing modifications of the shader. That's a no-no. For more information, you can always look at the agreement itself. But anyways, let's get started with my first Cuta Shader tutorial. Alright, first have the Cuta Shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore terrain.vsh. Use Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 49. If you're mainly looking to slow down the waving terrain to an extent, mainly where you can still see a small bit of movement, then this value is your tool. For my taste, 0 0.05 is a good place to go. Now, what if you want the terrain to be so slow that you can run a 30 minute time lapse and still have the terrain come out looking like it was shot in real time? Well, if you want that level of slowness, then these values would be a great place to start. Lines 55 and 56. These 0.6 values are what will change to make that wish a reality. So, my advice to you, add two zeros in between the decimal and the six, and you should be good to go. Save and exit. Now, we aren't quite done with this tutorial. Though we have successfully slowed down the waving terrain, we kinda still have our shadows waving at the same pace as before our adjustments. Let's fix that. Locate shadow.vsh. Open it up. Scroll down to line 44. I'm hoping you're making this connection, but either way, the code is pretty much identical to the previous bit we worked with. Same even for the slower code on lines 50 and 51. What this means is all you need to do is paste in your previous adjustments to resync everything. So, for the value on line 49, I'll rewrite 0.05. For lines 50 and 51, I'll re-add in the two zeros. That's all there is to it. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my q to shader tutorials, Versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this cute shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!